guys, it's Austin from Mutation Creation, and in today's Saturday Snake School, we're talking about how to tell if your ball python is a boy or a girl, and we're going to get all into that. Before that, huge shout out to BNS Reptilia. Go and check out. Chris is a great guy. Got some amazing animals. Check him out on Instagram. And let's get straight into the video. So a lot of people have pet ball pythons or even breeding ball pythons and they're having trouble on how to tell if their ball python is a male or a female and we're going to get into that. We're going to show you the popping method that we use here and we're actually going to go and sex a whole clutch after so stay tuned for that. Now we're going to look over here. We got two lavenders. One's a dreamsicle, one is a lavender combo. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. I think it's like a blackhead mojave lavender head pied. But here we have just a dreamsicle. And these guys had about three, four meals out of the egg so far. And this is probably the easiest time to go and sex your ball pythons just because they don't have enough muscles in the inside of here to hold back their hemipenes. And if you guys don't know what hemipenes are, this is what they are. This is how you tell if your ball python is a male. And right there you see that elongated peen right there. That's one and the other is on the other side. That's how you can tell if it's a male, and I'll give you a quick look what a female looks like. And you see there's no peens. So we do have these two little things sticking out over here, but those are just glands. Notice how they're kind of that pinkish color and not the same purpley red we were seeing before. That's the difference between a male and a female. And now we're just going to show you exactly how we get this done. So if you look at the snake here, right here this is called the cloaca. And you can see I'm kind of doing like a trigger finger motion. So I have my finger like this, kind of like you're squeezing the trigger of a gun. And then I go and push it over there, right underneath the cloaca, and push the spine a little bit down. And you can see how it kind of opens up the vent. So then I put my thumb just behind the vent, and I try to feel for the, an air pocket. And I can feel it right there. And as I push on the air pocket, you can see that the hemipenes start to come out. And you're seeing those pink and almost purple colors there. And you can also use your left hand or your other hand just to give a little bit of pressure this way as you're pushing forward. That also helps the hemipenes pop out. You can see how red those are. We're going to try the exact same thing on the female here. So look at the vent, finger, trigger finger, put it right underneath. And then I'm going to take my thumb and squeeze a little bit. You can see we do have popping out again, but we have that nice pink color. There's no reds, no purple. But the thing is, if I tried this enough times, kept pushing like this over and over, I can go and make this look more red than it should be. And that's when a lot of people confuse females for males. So the best thing to do is try a couple of times, two or three times, let the snake rest for about five minutes, go back to it and try again. Because if you do press it too many times, you will make it look like a male, even though it is a female. And one more time, I'm just going to show you what those males look like and just how to set up. Trigger finger right behind the, the vent or cloaca, directly below it. And I'm taking my thumb here and I'm just pressing a little bit. You could already see the color difference from the female. You have those reds. And if I were to push a little bit more, you can see they actually start to stick out. So, really cool. And that's basically how we sex ball pythons. We're going to sex some adults right now and then we'll get right into that clutch we were talking about. So, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I told you guys that sexing hatchlings is the easiest. Here we have a proven breeder male. This is a pastel leopard stranger yellow belly clown, possible het pied, and we're going to be proving them out later this year. And once they get to about this size, this is where they have these muscles inside of their tail, where they're actually able to go and hold their hemipenes in and make it a little bit harder to sex, but technique is exactly the same. Trigger finger right underneath the vent. See, I have my support finger here once again. And if you look, I'm kind of just doing this and this thumbs here and this thumbs pushing like this so if you can just try this right now and then picture putting that underneath your snake or even grab your snake and try it again if you look this thumbs pointing this way this thumbs on an angle this one's right under the vent and this one's supporting a little bit higher up the snake and then once again we're going to crack it a little bit over the vent and you can see right there it opens it up a little bit more and right here you can see a little bit of a bulge that's where that air pocket's going to be and I'm just going to press it, and boom. And once you get good enough, one hand, it becomes very easy. And you, oh, see the sperm's coming out. But you'll be able to do it very easily over time. And just practice, practice, practice. 
pull out a couple of more males and I'll pull out a couple of females just to show you exactly what it looks like. Because not every male is the same. And I'm actually going to look for one of those bigger males we have. This is an Enchi Fire Orange Dream Lesser Hypo Clown. This is a male from 2018. And he's a little bit bigger than that last one, a little more chunkier. But the same principle applies. Crack it over the finger. See how it's opening a bit. Look for that little area. And you can see right now, it didn't pop out all the way. That's okay. What you're going to want to do is just keep playing with it. Keep trying, and now you can see we're starting to get a little bit of that purple hemipene coming out. Like I said, bigger males, especially at this size, around a thousand grams and bigger, they're a lot harder to pop because of those muscles they have around their vents and their hemipenes that just blocks it in. Now we're going to try a couple of females. We'll start off with a smaller one. But here we go, same thing applies trigger finger underneath the vent, thumb coming in, pushing up. You see how we have those two little nubs over there? Those are not hemipenes. You see how they're still white in color? You see how behind it we do have a little bit of pink? But as I'm pushing, all we have is that little red thing. And no, this is not a male with really small hemipenes. That is just a female. And that little dot there is actually where they kind of get that little gray musk. It comes out of that gland right there. And this is just a smaller female, probably around 1,400 grams. And then I'll pull out something around 3,000 grams. Pull this big pie out here. And she's a lot bigger. And even a lot of people go and look at the spurs and think that the spurs right here determine if it's a male or female. Both males and females have spurs. Females tend to have longer spurs. But I did see someone go on Craigslist and say that it was a male because of the spurs when it was in fact a female. And look, same thing applies again. Trigger finger underneath, spread it open a bit. And I'm pressing. Once again, we have those two little glands there. Not a male. You can see they're still white in color. And if I go a little harder behind it, you can see there's no hemipenes coming out of there. You do have a little bit of that purple color once again, but those are just veins and where the blood supply is. And you can actually see that it's very smooth there. There's no real hole for hemipenes to protrude from. And if you do see this, some people think that that sperm from the female or a sperm from a male that's actually just stuck from the shed. It's a little bit of stuck shed inside where you have those glands. So once you pop it out, they come out. And just like the male I popped earlier, you saw that the sperm was very white, not crusty. That's because it was sperm. This is not. So now we're going to go put this female away and we'll get straight into that clutch. So here we got a pretty cool clutch of freeways and super asphalts, and they're all combos. We're not going to really get into the IDing, more of just the sexing today. I'm probably going to get bit a few times. They look a little bit hungry. They all just shed. And here it looks like we have a pastel Enchi freeway. And same thing, trigger finger underneath. You can see how much smaller this is than the bigger snakes, and you have to be a lot more gentle with the hatchlings, especially the ones that haven't eaten yet. You don't want to go kink them or break their spine or anything. Be very gentle with them. And the, fo the force you have to apply is very little with these guys. And right there, you can see it still has that first gland, but behind it you have a red thing sticking out. This is definitely a male. And if I press a little bit more on the other side, we'll get the other one to stick out too, just like that. So pastel enchi freeway male. We'll put the males on this side, keep the males, the females to the other side. Hopefully they don't crisscross. But here we have a super pastel enchi hidden gene woma super asphalt. And this thing just looks insane. Love the purples, the yellows, and the dots on the side of the head there look really cool. And this one is also a male. You can see that nice big hemipene right there. Very red. We'll keep that to this side as well. Here we have a Enchi, pastel Enchi probably. Yeah, pastel Enchi freeway hidden gene woma. And this one is also a male. You can see both those red dots at the back. If I keep pressing it, they'll pop out a little bit more, but another male. So three for three males so far. Things are not looking too good. We have the exact same thing again, a little bit different, a little bit of polymorphism in it. Pastel, Enchi, Hidden Gene Woma Freeway. And 
This one is a female. So you notice how there's no red dots in the back there. I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm even pressing it a couple times just to be sure. And this one is indeed a female. So three males, one female so far. Then here we have... You know what? These two might not have pastel. The head's saying pastel. I just don't know why this one is so much brighter. Maybe something else is going on too. Or maybe this is the Super Asphalt version. Who knows? But pastel, Enchi, Hinjin, Woma, Freeway or Super Asphalt. And right away, seeing the red there. It's a male, so that's 4.1 so far. And this last pastel, Enchi, Super Asphalt here. Will it be a male or a female? I just love the reds that you get in the Super Asphalts. And it is a female. Once again, no red dots. We do have a little bit of that stuck shed stuff there I was talking about earlier. I'll pull that off. That is not sperm, especially at this size. So if you do see that inside of your females, it's not uh, sperm they're saving for later. It's just a little bit of stuck shed and you can remove that once you sex them. But that's going to be it for today's Saturday School. Hope you enjoyed how to check if your ball python is a male or female. Go and check through the snakes in your collection and practice with your hatch things. Hopefully you can get it down packed. Hit me up in the comments down below anything that I might have missed that you want to see or you want me to go over over again. And we'll definitely get that video out to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.